Hoki mai Arnold, welcome back. Scientists and growers in Hawke's Bay are warning many more fruit trees will die as a result of root rot from Cyclone Gabriel. Plant and food research has spent the past seven months analysing silt-covered orchards. And our reporter Alexa Cook has the exclusive details of their findings. Last season's rotten apples still carpet the ground, surrounded by flood debris. So how high were the floodwaters here? Oh, the stop bank broke and we had three and a half metres of water, so over the top of these trees. Paul Painters lost more than 150,000 fruit trees, costing him about $15 million. What happens there and what's that like for you when you go back? Still very difficult and traumatising to, to go there. Every time I go and see it, I have to pull over on the side of the road and have a few deep breaths. His remaining trees are trying to spring back to life, but the buds are shriveling up and dying. It will start to look like it's alive and then it'll turn up its toes and die. Hardly surprising given the stress Cyclone Gabriel's put them through. But roughly 50% of the area of Hawke's Bay was pretty badly affected. Since the cyclone, plant and food research have been studying its impact on 30 orchards and identified two key types of silt, one that's sandier and more free draining and a finer clay-like sediment that's suffocating tree roots. And that's a good sign that there's no oxygen in there, so that'll be really unhealthy for roots. Their key concern is root rot, caused by the soil-borne pathogen Phytophthora. The root system just can't support the, uh, the trees and there's been no carbohydrate stored so the plant uses up what little resources it has, tries to put out a, a few flowers and set a little bit of fruit and then runs out of resources and just dies. More trees will die, uh, that's almost inevitable, but I think making good decisions and working with the growers around making those good decisions on crop load will be really critical. Tough decisions such as extensive pruning and thinning overcrop them and we're likely to be into tree death and decline by the time we get to mid-December. But for some it's too late. There are also areas like this in Hawke's Bay with just row after row of dead fruit trees but they're stuck here waiting to be pulled out because the growers are prioritising saving the living trees rather than getting rid of the dead ones. The workload is never ending. Any idea how long this recovery is going to take? Yeah, I think we'll take 10 years to get back to where we were. And scientists will be keeping a close eye on the industry's recovery. Alexa Cook, News Hub.